In this video, I'm taking a look at just how good Adobe's new Denoise update in Lightroom is and how we can use it to improve our aviation photos. Make turn to 240, I was actually 75. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm taking a look at the April 2023 update to Lightroom Classic and the brand new AI denoise feature. So as aviation photographers, we often have to shoot at high ISOs to be able to freeze the action of high speed jets when using four, five or even 600 millimeter telephoto lenses. Typically, I reckon I shoot at around 400 or 800 ISO with my Canon 7D Mark II, or sometimes even higher if the weather conditions are particularly dull. A few years ago, I started using Topaz Denoise AI and I actually made a video about it. So I'll put a link to it here if you want to take a look at it in more detail. But Adobe have just recently released a new update to Lightroom, which includes a brand new Denoise feature using AI. It's already getting rave reviews. So let's take a look at how we can use it to improve our aviation photos. If you get something from this video, before you go, please don't forget to take a moment to tap the like button for me to help my channel. So let's take a look at this image of a US Air Force KC-10 tanker landing at Fairford, which was taken at 800 ISO. Now I've always denoised my images fairly close to the start of the workflow. So I'm just going to make some very basic adjustments to the image to get it in the right ballpark of where I want to take it. And then I'll go down to the detail tab. And just as before, the old classic denoise adjustments are still there if you want to use them. They've just been moved out of the way to under the manual noise reduction drop down arrow. But here's the new denoise feature. By pressing the denoise button, a new preview window pops up and shows you a very simple slider control from 0 to 100%. The default is set to 50%. If you click on the magnifying glass in the bottom right of the preview window to zoom out, you can then use the cross pointer to then zoom back in at a place that you think will show the most noise like a dark or shadow area of the aircraft. Simply slide the control slider to the appropriate percentage that fits the image best. Personally, I find the sweet spot by going back and forth to find the lowest amount I think I can get away with. Too much may unnecessarily blur or cause the image to lose detail. I like to keep just a small touch of noise to help show sharpness, but that's my own personal preference. So for this image, I'm going to settle on 52%. In my testing, to be honest, I found the default of 50% does a great job most of the time. The most I've ever gone up to is 70% so far. The preview window updates almost immediately and there is an indication as to how long it will take for the denoise to be applied to the whole image. If you click the stack checkbox, the output DNG image will be stacked together with the original raw file. One thing to note is that Denoise only works at the moment with RAW files. You can't use it with JPEGs yet, but that may come in another update one day in the future. Okay, so let's go for it and press Enhance, and it will take 10 seconds or so to complete. The output DNG image looks fantastic, with no artifacts at all. The picture is sharp and still full of detail. One issue I've occasionally found with Topaz Denoise AI is that it sometimes introduces artifacts and they sometimes look as if the paint is peeling off the metal surface of the aircraft. When this happens, I sometimes spend quite a bit of time to find just the right settings to prevent the artifact as best I can. So that's something to be aware of. But so far, it seems that Lightroom's Denoise performs beautifully. Removing noise in Lightroom has always been a bit of a joke to be honest and many people, myself included, have always used plugins like Topaz to do the job. 
But now Adobe have done an absolutely fantastic job with this and I think it's actually noticeably better than Topaz now. In fact, according to many reviews I've seen, Lightroom Denoise has gone from absolutely useless to just about the best there is, which is fantastic news for Lightroom users. It's a big time saver. It makes the whole process so much simpler and quicker because there's no need to round trip through Topaz to get the denoising done. It's all done right in Lightroom, which seriously speeds up the workflow. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new denoise feature in Lightroom and how you think it compares to what you were using before. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell for more aviation photography content on this channel in the future. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye for now.